Hi everyone, welcome to the sewing swan. Let me show you today how to make this quick and easy quilt top. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so you don't miss any of our future uh, videos. The next video we will be sewing for babies, but for this one, let's know how to get this done. For this pattern and because it's a small cut, you can use the 5 inch square uh, pegs, char pegs. Actually, the number of them depends on the size of quilt you are making. Or you can use fat quarters as I'm doing today. I'm, I cut my 5 inch squares from my fat quarters. You can use the yardage of your stash or simply you can use leftovers. It's gonna be so easy that I don't do it only by one. I usually cut four or five quilts. And this is what I'm showing you today. It's very easy and carefree because you can lay your fabrics, your, your pieces the way you like, making sure, taking care only of one rule that no several pieces could meet but only on the diagonal like these ones or these ones so they don't meet on the sides only on the diagonal and taking this rule in mind just lay it out the way you want and helping you pick the fabrics as well if you choose a patterned one like the kitty one you choose the other fabric with dots stripes solids so it's less patterned than the first one so this helps pops up your colors and highlight your patterns in your quilt for example i picked the stripes with the monkeys This is the giraffe uh, set. And this is the plain set to show you what I mean. Now, now use to your sewing machine row by row. For example, if you are taking this row, you flip it on the back and you put, you put numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then you take the 1 and 2 pieces and sew them together, right sides together. And then you take the one and two pieces after sewing them and you sew them to number three right sides together and then you take that set and sew it to number four right sides together right sides together right sides together until you finish the row and you do this with every row in your quilt you sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance Now take pieces number one and two from the row you are working with now take the pieces one and two from the row you are working with exactly like they, they are located in the row as you lay them out face them right sides together take them to your sewing machine and sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance making your best to get the best quarter of an inch seam allowance there you go 
number one and number two now take number three and do the same facing right sides together and sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance now you get now you get three complete until you get your row all finished and connected repeat the same process for the second row and the third until you get all the rows all the pieces in every row sewn together now you need to press open all your seams now you got all your seams pressed open you need to sew columns together so get the first two columns in the order you wanted them and you plan them you laid them out making sure that similar pieces do not match they need to be different so put the right sides together paying attention to the direction of the fabric pin in place making sure that the seams match it's all about matching seams in quilting use your pins pin and sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance then, then remember if you can't master a, a quarter of an inch seam allowance you can use this uh, a quilting foot a quarter of an inch seam allowance foot or you can simply place a tape or a mark at the quarter of an inch seam allowance at your machine don't forget and don't forget at the beginning and the end of your sewing there you go and you know you are just going just fine when the seams meet now it's time to add another row so right sides together pin in place and sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance until you just sew all the sew all the rows together and you just keep going until the entire quilt top is done make sure you press open all of your seams and you are ready to go for the next step if this is your first quilt top and you are not satisfied about matching seams or anything let me show you my very first quilting attempt actually I could not find any matching seams in this quilt so do not get frustrated and keep trying until you you get it right I hope you I hope you help please give it a thumbs up share it if you have any question please comment below and I will see you next tutorial. Thank you.